So what is the truth about investing in the stock market? Every single day I'm hearing misconceptions out there from beginners, from people just starting out, that the stock market is something that it's completely not. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of misconceptions that I think about the stock market, investing in the stock market for the long term. So let's get into it. So one of the biggest misconceptions that I think are out there involving the stock market is that it's a get rich quick scheme. And guys, Guys, I can't tell you enough. We all know at this point how many ads there are out there in the community, and I know I'm guilty for it. I have a YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys see the ads before this video, during the video, maybe after it as well. But we see so many ads. Jason Bond, you know, Tim Sykes, you know, all these people that are throwing money at you saying the stock market, psh, you can take $10,000, you can turn that into $100,000. How many times have you seen that Tim Sykes app where he's, or the ad where he's like, $10,000? That's nonsense, right? I know you guys have seen that, but there's ads every single day that are showing you that and telling you and sh giving you misconceptions that the stock market is a get rich quick scheme, right? You're putting money in a thousand bucks and you can flip that into a hundred thousand dollars. And the truth is guys, the stock market is nothing like that when it comes to investing. Sure. If you're playing with penny stocks, you may get lucky. You may, you may put a thousand dollars in and you may flip that into 10,000. If you get one of these, uh, you know, low float penny stocks, maybe you're in one of those, you you know, pump and dump uh, uh, situations where the stock flies up, you get out at the right time. Sure, you can make a 10x return on that, but you can also completely lose your money. You can completely go from a $1,000 investment to $0 investment, just like that with those penny stocks, which is why I stay away from them. But overall, guys, investing in the stock market, it is not a get rich quick scheme. It is not something you put a thousand bucks in and it spits out $10,000 a year later. It's a slow, gradual process. And to get even deeper into that regarding the slow, gradual process, what the stock market needs the most out of anything in terms of emotions is patience, guys. Patience, this emotion that's inside of you that says, I need to buy a stock right now. I need to buy a stock right now. Whatever stock it is, I don't care what price it is. I don't care if it's at all time highs. I don't care if the evalu uh, uh, evaluation's crazy. I need to buy a stock. You need to be able to control this and wait for the opportunities out there to buy the stock. Don't just buy at the top just because you're craving to buy a stock because that might not be the best time to get in, right? Which is why when patience comes in, you wait for those opportunities and you you capitalize on them when they come around because most of the time, guys, when a stock's at an all-time high, you know, it's going to come back at one point. It's going to correct. And when it corrects, you can actually get in at a better price point, a better you know, starting dividend yield if that stock pays a dividend. And overall, your return is going to be much better. Think about it, right? If you get in at a dip buy, your return over time, you know, if your company does well over time, if you've picked a good company, you know, your return's going to be better than if you got in at a higher price, right? So the whole thing about investing in stocks, guys, obviously is picking the right stocks, doing your research, understanding what industries, what sectors you're investing investing in, making sure you're diversified, all of that stuff. But once you pick out your stocks, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to buy them right away, right at the prices they're at. Now comes the patience and the waiting game where you're going to wait until these stocks you've picked start to get at better prices and better valuations. And just to go off on a little side tangent very quickly, what I personally do when I track my stocks and ETFs is I create watch lists, guys. Very simple simple here. This is the Think or Swim platform. You guys can see up here, personal. These are my watch lists, right? I have an active watch list, banking stocks, Chinese stocks, dividend yields, uh, ETFs, you know, indexes and international ETFs, long-term growth dividend plays, long-term investments, market ETFs, REITs, tech stocks, weed stocks. And this is simply where I keep stocks that I'm interested in investing in. And I just take a look at them 
you know, pretty much every single week, maybe a couple times a month. And when they're at lower prices, that's when I consider buying more into that position or starting a new position if I haven't already bought in. So that's what I do when it comes to creating watch lists on Thinkorswim and just tracking my uh, potential stocks and current investments over time. So very quickly, let's take a look at this compound interest calculator so you guys can see how patience can help you so much in the span of decades here when it comes to investing in the stock market. So let's say you're starting out with $10,000. That's a nice whole number here. Let's say you start out with ten thousand dollars and let's say every single year you plan on adding twelve thousand dollars to that portfolio will break that down to one thousand dollars monthly so that's your goal let's say you want to build a lot of wealth in the stock market let's say you want to have dividends coming in monthly that will pay your expenses in the next couple of um, decades this can be a goal for you to achieve based on adding a thousand dollars a month so let's say a thousand dollars a month Month, years to grow you have 40 years to grow this money and let's say the interest rate is eight percent because if you take a look at the s p 500 since 1957 ish up until 2018 the return has been about i think like 7.96 percent to be exact but We'll round that up to 8% and that'll see, you'll see it there as 8% here on the compound interest calculator. So let's see what the future value of this money is going to be. You're going to have half a million dollars by just adding in $1,000 every single month at an 8% return. And that's absolutely crazy, right? Very quickly, let's do an example. Let's say you started out with $100,000. Is that $100,000? Yes, it is. And let's say you're adding in $2,000 every single month. Let's say you have a job that does that pays you very well. Let's say you add $2,000 a month from, let's say, a $10,000 a month um, income. 40 years to grow at 8%. You guys can see that's going to be nearly $3 million. So that just goes to show how patience and compound interest and decades after decades of consistently investing will help you long term. So another misconception about the stock market that drives me absolutely crazy is that it is gambling guys oh my god the stock market is gambling right you, you might as well just go to las vegas and throw a hundred bucks on black or go play the slot machines right that's probably better than investing in stocks right that's not true, guys, because when you're investing in a stock, you're investing in a company, right? And if you've picked out a company, you've done the research, you pick the company that grows its revenues every year, that grows its profits, it has a good moat, right? The company's protected, it has a good brand, maybe a patent, you know, these companies you know, they're going to continue to do well. And the stock, as the, you know, company's earnings and, and profits increase, the stock is going to, A, have more dividends. So if that stock is a dividend stock, you're going to be getting more dividends over time. And generally, when the companies do good over time, the stock price also does well. So how is, you know, putting money into a company, into a strong company like Apple or let's say, you know, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, putting in money into these companies that generate money and growing money every single year. How is that gambling, right? You can turn a thousand bucks. If you put a thousand bucks into Amazon, you know, as it was growing up to the beast that it is today, you would have done so well on your money. And how, how is that gambling, right? So that is one of the misconceptions that gets me fired up. It gets me kind of mad as you guys can see, but it happens, right? These are out there every single day. Another misconception about investing in the stock market is that you need to be Bill Gates. You need to be Warren Buffett. You need to have millions of dollars. You need to have a PhD in finance. You need to have a master's in finance. You need to have gone to college 15 times for finance. That's not true, guys. Anybody out there that has 100 bucks, 50 bucks, 500 bucks, 1000 bucks can invest in the stock market. And with today's new platforms like Robinhood, M1 Finance, link down below, shameless plug, you can literally start investing with 100 bucks, 50 bucks, 
200 bucks because you can buy partial shares with M1 Finance and you don't have to pay commission when you buy and sell stocks with Robinhood or M1 Finance. So there's literally no excuse for anybody out there with a small amount of money to start investing. And don't let all these people just make you believe that you need all this money to invest. You can literally start with a small amount of money. You can pick an ETF, a couple of stocks, usually index funds for people that don't want to be too into it, right? And you can just slowly add more money and dollar cost average into these positions over time and you'll have a massive nest egg built in the next couple of years just by simply getting over that rich. You have to be rich to start out. You can start out with a small amount of money and just grow it over time and you'll thank yourself. So those are just a couple of misconceptions about the stock market and the truth behind investing in the stock market that it's a slow, long process that can build you a huge amount of wealth over time. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content from me. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I do make a video and drop a comment down below let me know what you guys thought about this one and let me know if you want me to make another stock market misconceptions video so I'll catch you all in the next video thanks again for watching I appreciate all you guys from the bottom of my heart peace out